This is David's Farm point of view from being a Canadian on the American health system and some comparisons to our system which is fairly similar to the system in France and Britain which are very good systems. It's called socialized health care and in America it's called private health care. You know when you get sick and you have to go to the hospital who's going to pay for it? How much is it going to cost? And do you need insurance and stuff like that? Well, Canada has a socialized system where many years ago the government decided to tax us more, but then that paid for our health care. That means every time you get hurt or have a serious need of an operation or something like that, you go to the hospital, you just show a card or something to prove you're Canadian, sign in, that's it. You, they fix you up at whatever expense, no length limits on the treatment that you may require in the future. No, it's just a free ride. That's it. Walk out the door, never going to see a bill. You don't need any insurance. Only problem is drugs aren't free. They're kind of expensive, but not near as expensive as they are in the United States. And a lot more expensive than they are in Britain, where most things cost 6.55 pounds, no matter whether you buy 10 pills or 100 pills. <laughs> that's cheap and we don't have free dental care you have to have insurance for that so my teeth are suffering I'm cheap we don't have free care either for looking after children like daycare like France does now a few times some major politicians in the United States tried to bring in the socialized system like Canada has and some of those other countries I mentioned have it's a great system anything I've ever heard about or seen or talk to someone from one of those countries that has this kind of system. They love it. They're healthier and those people always live several years longer on average than the average American citizen. But America is controlled by giant corporations who just want to make money. They don't care about the people. They want you to die. <laughs> kind of that's the way it really is. They just want to make profits. They want you to buy their insurance and then they want to find every possible way to wiggle their way out when you get sick saying oh it's experimental treatment to get better oh you didn't report you had some other little problem in the past so that makes this claim fraudulent so that's null and void oh we, we don't cover that type of situation on and on and on and on they have people hired and trained to cause you to not get your treatment paid for so that you get broke you have a heart attack you have a serious accident something you're not expecting you think your life is doing great financially next thing you know week in the hospital and you owe someone hundreds of thousands of dollars very often if you even still had insurance just because they found a way to get out of it they also charge whatever they want for drugs there's no government intervention for the price of drugs in America it's absolutely ridiculous. You can buy the same drugs outside of America, in other countries, and the drugs are much cheaper, like even in Canada. And the American drug makers are trying to prevent people from buying Canadian drugs just because we happen to be their closest supplier for cheaper drugs. So it really sucks that, that all the big people in America who have to do with making laws and changing things the way they could be better, like for example our country, are all being bought out. These politicians are getting cash payments bought out to be on the drug maker sides and on the insurance company sides for health care. It's absolutely stupid. There, and there's another disadvantage that's for us Canadians is being Canadians and close to the US. In the US because they don't have a publicly funded health care system, they pay less taxes. I think we pay about 20% more taxes because of our system. Well, it's, sure, I'm glad we do. It's a great system. But when you pay less taxes, our doctors and nurses like to go over there and earn as much money, or, or often more than we're earning in Canada, to do the same job and pay less taxes on it. So Canada's lost 40% of its doctors and nurses. So now we have very much longer times in waiting rooms. It's so difficult to get a private doctor, you know, like a general practitioner. I can't even get one. And I'm 48 and I'm totally healthy and haven't seen a doctor in years, but they just won't take new patients. There's just too few doctors. Thanks USA for 
taking them or enticing them so much to want to go your way. So I hope someday enough people can get together and stop believing the fear mongering that these drug companies and insurance companies and some of the politicians put on the average citizen to make them feel like socialized governments health care, which is what we have in Canada and so on, is a bad thing. It's actually a great thing. If they're just totally lying to the public to make them accept what they have now just so that drug companies and private people like that can make so much money. Rebel! You guys need to live just as long as we do and we live several years longer. Amen.